Okay, hello my darlings, it's Michaela. So I just thought to rock the boat a little bit with what you might be doing in any given area of your life. <laughs> so I just had a thought to share um, basically the perspective shift of evaluating what you're doing around if it's actually getting you what you want. So for a lot of us, when we step into realms where we're not the expert, we all have them. Um, we have, we are f experts in certain areas and we're not experts in other areas. And so if we're looking to get something particular in an area that we're not as knowledgeable, it's easy to be confused as to what we might actually select. Um, and so generally, like we have to work off of what we've been told. We have to do the best we can with the information that we have at hand. Um, but what I wish to just kind of um, bring up as a possibility is to evaluate what's happening if you're not getting what you want. So for any process, for any anything you're looking, you're, you start with one thing and you finish at a certain time, depending on what it is, um, there's, a, there's, a mount, there's an amount of time for a variety of things that it's smart to have a handle on. You know, it's totally unreasonable to think about losing like 40 pounds overnight, um, but in a few months, like that sounds okay. Um, so at any rate, what I wish to share is the element of options, I guess, the, um, the ability to reevaluate, to shift gears, and to potentially choose something else. So, um, so even in this environment, I was just going to talk about the other things that I do outside of Still Point, which tend to focus on injury prevention which tend to focus on kind of like sorting people's like physical makeup out and understanding how to like either manage an injury or a limitation or modify exercises, but preventing injury, helping people to get stronger, do that. And then I help people in the realm of weight loss in addition to massage um, and primarily getting into a fat burning mode. But at any rate, even in this environment, people do things that don't actually change things. So I hear about stretching a lot. I hear about, um, you know, uh, putting heat on things. And the whole deal is that sensation doesn't equate with change. And so I would just encourage you to be honest about the final product. And so with that, if you just enjoy the process, meaning that like, well, it just feels good. And so I just want to do something that feels good. Awesome, you know, more power to you. But if it, if the feel good thing is actually less important than the resolution thing, I would totally encourage you to reevaluate. All right. So people do this all across the board, whether it's like, you know, a particular type of um, exercise or, um, uh, workouts that they're doing that actually isn't getting them what they desire, whether that's like too little for their goal, like way too much for what they really need. Um, I hear about this a lot, again, in the realm of weight loss, like juicing is something I hear about. Um, I am not a fan of at all, like, you know, sticking with primarily protein and produce, and it's like, it's kind of a losing battle, generally. Um, and so what we tend to do in our culture as well is we put it on ourselves. Um, you know, I just need to try harder. Like I'm sure it really works. Um, and that's not always the case. So anyway, so I would just encourage you to get a handle on the timeline that you should be expecting to have a certain outcome based on when you've begun something. Everything takes a different amount of time depending on what you're aiming to achieve. But once you have a handle on that, I would encourage you to evaluate if you're not getting what you want um, to recognize that there might be a better way. All right. So that's just kind of a general public service announcement. Um, hopefully you're getting what you need here, but if not, <laughs> be in touch um, or reevaluate. Um, and that's something too that, um, you know, I think that it, 
it helps us to be a little more engaged in the activity, gets us a bit more educated about our own bodies, um, and helps us to feel more empowered, typically. All right? So that's it. And also it tends to make like what we desire come to us in a more efficient manner because we're not just wasting our time believing that this thing should work when it's not actually. Okay? Anyway, I love you all. I hope that was useful. And um, until next time.